that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away for lunch today, just made myself a nice little sandwich. I have the Arnold um, bread thins. They're, I'm sure most of you um, eat them, but I haven't bought sandwich thins in so long. Still love my carbs, but these are a little bit hey. less caloric. I need more bread, I need more teeth. Sydney, she just got done eating her sandwich. I gave it to her on regular bread. Um, I really got these because um, I just know that they were low on bread the last time I ordered. So anyway, um, so I made a sandwich on the multigrain bread. I have a tiny bit of mayo, and then I have red pepper hummus on it, and then I have some cheese, spinach, tomato, and we were out of any like deli meat and pickles. But last time I made this, I made it with pickles. Don't mind my nails. Um, I'm rocking five fingers worth of dip manicure that's a month old. Um, and then I put a little bit of pepper on it as well. So always adding flavor whenever we can and it's delicious. What is up you guys? Another day. But I finally started painting in the bathroom. I just on a whim was like, you know what? I really want to paint the bathroom. So I just started doing the trim. Of course I just picked white, but um, I think I told you I want to do an accent wall on this wall eventually. So, yes, uh, actually no, because there's wet paint out, so just hang on. So um, for today, all I'm doing is trimming, you know, doing the trim. I think I'm going to have to do two coats of trim, um, which is like any other, you know. I didn't really get high-end paint. I got it from Walmart, so anyway, I'm really excited. I never, I never really did a before, but yeah, the um, walls... I think they're technically supposed to be gray, but they're definitely like a blue color. So, so excited to get all of this situated and started. My challenge is going to be <laughs> getting it as close behind here and the um, toilet as possible. Oh. Whoa. Okay, excuse me. Beautiful. Thank you, baby. Excuse me. Beautiful. What is today? It doesn't matter. Do I have to always say what today is? I think it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Um, I've uploaded on like weird days today, Tuesday and Thursday. I just said Tuesday. Anyway, it is like 1.30 and Sydney is still in her pajamas. She did not want to get dressed. No, don't touch that, honey. It should be, yeah, let's not touch that, okay? Um, she didn't want to get, hasn't wanted to get dressed. She said she wanted to stay in her pajamas and I don't really care. I mean, it's a cold, yeah. freezing cold rainy day and I would love to stay in pajamas all day too. I am about to work out. I like just do a quick, um, at home, you know, that's all I ever do inside workout. So last night, as you guys saw, I painted my bathroom. Um, I'm not done at all. I did not bother getting, um, the ladder. So I have all of the like top pieces to do. I have all of those top pieces to do, but it was, I like stopped at 9.30 at night and I didn't, I just didn't want to do it. My arms were hurting and I was just over it. So anyway, I will be doing the top um, at some point, but I'm so stinking excited to get the white on here. I do need another coat on a couple of like the little walls. Um, right here, it's, it's only one coat. So anyway, um, yeah, so excited to have white walls but it's not gonna be like, it looks so sterile right now, like hospital sterile um, because it's so white, but obviously I'm gonna be hanging shelves um, above the toilet. I'm gonna do a couple of shelves and like, you know, have some things on them so it's not as plain. Um, I am gonna be doing my accent wall, like I said, on this one. I'm gonna be getting a, a new mirror. This mirror is very old um, and I'll probably, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe put it upstairs in the upstairs bathroom. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be changing out the mirror. I bought the new light fixture. This one's all just kind of broken and whatnot. Um, anyway, but yeah, really pumped and excited to get that done. Anyway, I'm trying to stay out of the living room because we have Disney music going on um, for Sydney right now and you guys know how copyright and all of that. Here, I'll go in her messy playroom. Um, what else? Oh, I will be showing you um, in this video in a little bit. Uh, what's going in the B-A-S-K-E-T. <laughs> um, 
in a little bit. I'll do that probably at the end of the video, but I will warn you so that children can scoot. Um, what else? I feel like there was a bunch that I was gonna say. Oh, yesterday I decided to do some lunges. You're crazy. <laughs> Yesterday I decided to do lunges outside and I only did like maybe 20, so like 10 on each leg. And my whole bum is sore. Not like so sore, but like it's definitely sore. So I'm like, oh Lord, that's how out of shape I am. But it's also good because clearly they're working. I want to lift the whole booty area. Anyway. And then I just went on Target this morning. I feel like all morning I slept in till nine. I went to bed so late um, and I just could not fall asleep. I don't know, it was one of those nights where I couldn't shut my brain off. Ended up sleeping until nine. I have no idea what time Sydney woke up. She was stayed in bed. She always does, she's so awesome. She stayed in bed um, and then I heard her like talking to me saying she had to go potty or something and I looked at the clock and it was nine. So maybe she slept till nine, I don't know, but I definitely did. Um, slept till nine and then just had a lazy morning. We watched a little bit of TV. We've just been hanging out playing. And then I went on Target. They're having a patio like furniture sale. I don't know, 15% off. And I ended up buying a rug. I needed a new rug. Um, mine is so moldy and I can't clean it. It's just gross. It's so moldy because it was a light colored. Anyway, I ordered a black round rug. So cute. I'm really excited to get it since I don't have a huge um, deck. I think that it will fit the space perfectly. And then a couple of uh, just pillows too. I'm going to go with the black and white theme. I love the look of the black and white. So I think that's just what I'm going to do. Um, I have to get rid of Sydney's pool that we had last year because it has a hole in it. That's why I never took it off my deck. It just ha it ended up having a hole in it because I'm sure I moved it or something. Um, anyway, since standing water attracts mosquitoes and bugs and she's had a horrible summer last year with her allergic reactions to bugs and bug bites, um, I'm not gonna get her a pool. She has her sprinkle pad and she will have her water table and we'll just go to the beach since we live so close. Anyway, instead of that, I'm gonna do a sandbox, I think, um, but I'll be doing that later. I know Cindy will absolutely love it. You be careful. So, just planning out like some outdoor, like, I don't know, because I have a feeling that we're gonna be like home so much and when the weather warms up in a couple of months here, um, I want our like outdoor, place at home to be kind of like an oasis that we can just like escape and have fun and things to do. So that's why I'm thinking of like patio gear, even though it's still in the forties here. Um, it's just something to, I don't know, think about and have some fun things to do at our house. What's that buttercup? Uh, uh, I suck. Do you want to get dressed? No. You want to stay in jammies all day long? Yes. Okay. That seems cozy. Are you cozy? Yes. Aww. I'm holding hands. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Huh? Orange? Yeah, pumpkin's orange. Which of these comes out at night? Does ice cream come out at night? No. No. Does a gnome come out at night? <laughs> does the moon come out at night? Yeah. 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 What does a duck say? Does a duck say moo? No. Does a duck say toot toot? No. Does a duck say quack? Yeah. Yes. Okay, you guys. So dinner tonight. I am going to make Sydney some meatballs. I got these from, obviously, great value, um, from... Walmart, um, full disclosure, I don't even know how to cook them, so I just had to read the instructions. Um, I figured Sydney could have some beef protein tonight. I got these when I was out of chicken, so Sydney could have some protein. So I think I'm gonna just make um, like a pasta dinner. So I'll just have pasta and sauce with like peas. And she's, excuse me, why are you yelling? You have a frying pan? Oh, she has her own frying pan. Um, P.S. She never got dressed today, you guys, and it's like 4.30. No, 4.45, and she never got dressed, but I asked her if she wanted to, and she said no, so that's quarantine life, fine by me. 
anyway, so that is gonna be something um, like a simple, easy dinner. I don't know, can, Sydney can have some protein. I just don't feel like cooking chicken like a whole meal. Um, by the way, I am drinking this LaCroix. The passion fruit flavor is so yummy. One of my favorites is the berry cucumber, but I can't find it ever at my grocery store. So passion fruit is like my second favorite. It is so yummy. So I just cooked the meatballs in the pasta sauce just on the um, on the stove. And this is gonna be Sydney's dinner. I'm gonna cut up the meatballs, of course, and I'm just gonna have the pasta with peas um, and then just pour some sauce in there and like mix it all up. But I wanted Sydney to have the meatball sauce. <laughs> and then I put some Parmesan cheese on top. You tell me what you think. Well, that's the pasta. Have you tried the meatball yet? I eat it, but it's delicious. Mm. Good. I like it. Good. I'm glad. Mmm. I gotta get my pasta. Do you need your me mouse? Do you need me mouse? Those meatballs are special for you, baby. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. What it's like to be broke I know what it's like When nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself Enjoy the fruit From this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way Up I won't slow Down Yeah, I am on my way Up I won't slow Down Sydney's like those memes that are going around right now, changing from day pajamas into nighttime pajamas. Sydney, time for pajamas. <laughs> yeah, she's like, wait a minute, I'm already in pajamas. Yeah, but we're gonna change you into your nighttime pajamas. Well, I these are nighttime. Well, those those have hummus on them from snack time so we need to change them baby okay so i wanted to share with you guys what um is going in sydney's easter basket she is downstairs right now um first of all this basket is from like tar uh, tj maxx or marshall's last year so yes i can't link it or anything i know i get questions about it but yeah it's just just a basic one um this year it feels so different like it just feels so weird um, and I feel like I really didn't put effort into her Easter basket like I typically would, but it is what it is. Um, you know, we're all in the same boat. And then of course you guys, I know some of you, you know, you might not do anything. You might just do candy, whatever you do. Don't feel like you have or pressured to do anything. I just wanted to share with you guys what I was doing, um, and the things that I put Sydney in Sydney's in case you wanted ideas or just wanted to see and you just, it's just entertaining anyway. So this is what Sydney's Easter basket looks like. So first and foremost, I got her some um, knee pads, elbow pads, hand pads, and then a helmet for, uh, she got a scooter for her birthday. So she's going to need this and then I'm going to get her a bike eventually. And I just want her to get used to wearing helmets and whatnot. This is supposed to be for, th from like three to eight. The head is adjustable. Honestly, I think it's going to be, I think these things are going to be too big for her because she's got like the tiniest little head. But I think if you have an average three-year-old or four-year-old, um, these will fit fine. Obviously, I haven't tried that on her, so I don't know. But again, it's adjustable, um, so hopefully it's better than nothing. And then these are all adjustable too. It comes with knee pads, um, wrist pads, so like something for her hand, and I believe elbow pads as well. This bathing suit, so cute. It is navy with all the little like mermaid print and fish. She is going to love this. And I thought that was so cute. It has the little ruffle sleeves and then on the back it has a crisscross 
with the little purple bow. She has um, a bathing suit from last year that will fit her. It wasn't, um, it didn't fit her last year, so I, but I thought that would be cute, um, and hopefully it warms up a little bit, so I don't know, maybe in a couple of months she'll be able to wear that. And then to go with it, I got her these little sunglasses. They have like the little mermaid print, and then they have the purple kind of detail, but I thought those were really cute. Um, she has been, has been obsessed with my sunglasses lately, and she doesn't have any, I don't know, I'm sure she has some somewhere, but we can't find them, but I thought those would match and be really cute. Little mermaid print. And then what is springtime, summertime without bubbles? So I got her this tube um, of bubbles and then also got her this little um, Imagine Ink book. I'm sure your kids love them. Sydney loves them. Um, it's basically this, like a no mess marker. This marker only works on this paper and it shows up and kind of colors everything's, everything in. And of course I got her the frozen um, themed one. And then this one, it's going to seem so random to you guys, but this is a little pretend magnifying glass. Sydney is absolutely obsessed with pretending she has a magnifying glass and that she's a detective. So she's going to love this. She's actually currently downstairs and she's got her little, she has a little tool from her um, doctor's kit that she pretends is a magnifying glass and she's doing that currently. So I can't wait for her to have this. She's going to think that is like the coolest thing ever. So I also got her this little puzzle from Kids Lane. It's like a little anatomy puzzle. It has all kinds of different body parts and um, like skeleton and muscle and all kinds of things like that. So cute. Sydney's obsessed with learning about the body and bones and things right now. So I think she's going to love that. Um, and it has, like I said, like five different layers, so many different um, layers to it. And it's just super cute for learning. And I thought that was a good little basket stuffer as well. Um, obviously, I will take the plastic off and like all the tags and whatnot of things. But yeah, that is everything that I have in her basket for right now. Um, I will be doing some M&Ms and goldfish in her eggs that I hide around the house. Um, so I'm not going to be putting like candy in her basket or anything. I, if I find like a little chocolate bunny, I might. But yeah, she doesn't really need anything else. Um, and then... I might put like, I don't know, if I find some bath things randomly, I might throw some in there, but that's all I'm doing for her basket. Um, and I know she will be very happy and I'm excited for her to have these so we can take her scooter outside and, you know, play on that outside. We haven't been able to because she hasn't had the pads and she definitely needs it. 